Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode. Hey (laughs) y'all. So today we want to talk about speaking your truth. Yes, um, a lot of us have what? Stressful lives, Mm -hmm. okay? And uh, little did you know that part of that reason might be because you are holding back your truth and something, you know, that you're trying to keep sweeping under the rug. And sometimes that manifests as stress. It does. <laughs> now, with speaking your truth, everyone's like, oh, it's about being right or wrong. Speaking your truth has nothing to do with about right or wrong. Yeah, it's just the truth. Exactly. It's about you telling what you feel in an authentic, you know, uh, way where you're being real with yourself and those around you. Exactly. Um, and you'll find that once you have gotten that out the, out the way, um, life becomes all of a sudden easier, right? Like, all of the voices in your head, they shut up because what you gonna say? I said what I said. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about that. We're going to go over why it's important to speak your truth. Mm-hmm. Then we'll, you know, touch base on like when, you know, you should, when you should start speaking your truth. Like, what are the hints to let you know? Um, and then finally, how? Okay? All right. So we've got you covered. Okay, so why? Why is it important to speak your truth? Well, when you speak your truth, you also give permission to those around you to speak their truth. Okay, that is very true. It is, because listen, you when you show up authentically and you are who you are unapologetically, mm-hmm. you give that other person that permission, you know, because you allow them to, they, they look at you with an inspiration, like, wow. Absolutely, because they saw that how you were vulnerable and didn't even think about in ways that, you know, you would have judged them. Like, if I were to speak my truth to you, you know, mm-hmm. I'm just saying it. That's like, you know what? That's also saying, I don't care what you're going to say about what I have to say or what you're going to think about me. Exactly. This is my truth. And then guess what she's going to do? Well, if you didn't care what I had to say, well, then you can't <laughs> care what I have to say, right? But I'm going to just speak my truth. Exactly. So that makes the world go around. Everyone is holding up their little light torch, you okay. know, speaking their truth. Yes. We love that for you. (laughs) All right. So, um, and if you tell the truth, guys, you'll find that there's nothing to remember. You know, when you lie, you have to remember that lie. So if something else were to come up where it's like that circumstance have to be brought up again, now you have to remember the lie you told so that, you know, everything can, you know, be Mm -hmm. aligned with what you said. Well, guess what? If it was the truth, you wouldn't have to remember what you said. The truth is the truth. Okay, and going off that, it clears your consciousness, like mm-hmm. you were saying, because now I don't have to think about like, oh wait, this is the lie I told to this person. Now I have to keep the lie. Now this person, honestly, guys, that's that's already time consuming. That's already giving me chaos in my mind because okay. I'm like, okay, that's a, where the B, stress B, B. came from that I was telling you about. It's stressful. Yeah, clear it all out because <laughs> what I tell you is gonna be the same thing I tell that person and the other person because it it is all the same. Okay, um, and when you do clear your conscience, then you feel free, right? You feel liberated. Can nobody hold this against you because you had already came out with it yourself? And what else can they say, really? Okay, with that saying, the truth shall set you free. Well, <laughs> there's a reason for that. Hello. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Listen. And most importantly, though, lies can cause more harm than the truth. Mm-hmm. You, people are out there, especially, you know, when you watch these movies and these things and like some spy movies, the guys, the men are like, oh, I'm going to hide this from her, from my wife, because it's going to protect her. And in the end, she ends up dying because she didn't know the truth that someone was after that person. Yikes. <laughs> Hello, it does more harm than the, than the good. If you speak it let them know like hey i'm a spy this person's after me the wife would have been on the lookout you know what i mean They're like oh snap let me look out and they you when you're not um when you speak your truth right and you're letting it be known and you're making it put it out there it gives the other person mm-hmm. the choice yeah yeah don't take the choice away from the other person that part um and uh it also invites togetherness instead of separation you know what i mean yeah, so I just like how um if i were to say something to you you yeah. know you see that i'm a vulnerable then now you feel like you can also be vulnerable with me that's inviting that togetherness like oh okay like Huh, I don't know why I was tripping. Like, I I was holding on to this thing for no reason. And it was destroying my life. It was destroying our relationship. Like, 
All for nothing. All you know? for nothing. A lot of the human traits is that we blow things out of proportion. Yeah. When you realize it, it's like, oh, okay, cool. They would have taken it easily, so why not? Go ahead and do it, right? <laughs> and, you know, um, you live a life of fear. You live a life of fear, which leads to physical illnesses when you don't speak your truth. Mm -hmm. Okay, like, for example, cancer, right? Or other immunological deficiency, deficiencies. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, why not? Um, suppressing all of that inside of you, like we've spoken in multiple times in our videos, mm -hmm. right? That illness will manifest in your body, your exactly. joints, your ankles, all of that, uh, all of that, um, creaks and cracks, crevices. Yeah. That's what that does for you if you're not speaking your truth. Okay. You're really honing it into your body. <laughs> your joints are going to start speaking for you, honey. Crick, crack. <laughs> Um, and I, I feel like the biggest example of, yeah. you know, why, uh, to finish off the list of why it's important to speak your truth, um, something that blew up recently regarding yes. Jada Pinkett Smith and uh, Will Smith, right? Um, I don't know how many years of bashing we were doing to Jada. Like, oh my goodness, how dare you? Uh, Will Smith is suffering this, suffering that, yeah. you know? Like, you're and a cheater, you stepped yes. out. This, this oh, you know, you you know, HOE, whatever. And it's just like, um, had we known that they were separated this whole time, would we have judged Jada as harshly as we did? Honestly. Probably not. Okay, now we would, things would make more sense. Like, oh, okay, like, dang, like we even have the whole truth for real. Exactly. Like, we didn't even have the whole story. So um, it can really destroy your image at times. Like if you don't speak your truth, because the stuff that can speculate out there, especially like from people who don't even like you. Like, yes. It can be very damaging, you know? Exactly. So that's just the biz biggest example to me. It's like, even I felt bad. I was just like, ooh, yikes. I like, know, separated for like now, seven years. Right, now we start putting Will Smith accountable for this too. Like, wait a minute. You didn't say anything while we were dogging Jada Smith. Yeah. If you, if you guys started off with that, like, hey, I haven't been with this dude, but we've been separated for yeah. seven years. The whole then, entanglement situation, like, they weren't even together. Exactly. Is it entanglement if y'all not together? Like, no, it's <sighs> not entanglement. So speaking your truth is will set you free. And it will give you, you know, the, your authentic, her character. Like, because yeah. her character, her integrity, all that was questioned. Yeah. Because she didn't speak her truth at that time. And all those things, like, can do much more, like, for people in those power positions, you know, influencing positions. You can lose certain jobs. You can lose certain deals and gigs, like, you know, because your image have a lot to do with some of the money you make sometimes. So, it's important, y'all. Yeah, um, it is. So, that sums it up, like, come on, like, you know. And I applaud Jada for finally coming out with that um, and letting people know. Um, because it was just too much. It, it was too much. Everyone was dragging her way too much. It is. So now that we know, okay, why it's important, like when is it that good time to speak your truth? Okay. Um, well, when you're emotionally affected by the circumstances. Very true. Yeah. Yeah. And with that being said, it's kind of like, as we know, right? Like you're here to live, you know, an authentic life. So if like if you're emotionally repressing your what you're feeling, you know, about your day to day or about relationships, about yeah. life situations, right? It's time to start speaking that truth then, mm -hmm. because having repressed emotions has never done anybody anything any good. good for you. You're just gonna be at the hospital a lot more often than most. Okay, and right? guess what? The worst damage that's being done is to yourself because mm -hmm. you're not even doing it to the other people. Exactly. They they get some damages done, but it's mostly to you, mm -hmm. the one who's holding the truth. Yeah. So that's when you know it's about time. So another reason why you may know when it's time to start speaking the truth is when you're like picking up bad habits like drinking and smoking to suppress how you might be feeling about how the circumstances are making you feel. You know what I mean? So it's like, oh, like I don't want to think about this burden, you know, that I have to get off my chest. I don't want to have to think about that. You know, what will they think of me if I say anything? Oh, let me just drink it away and I'll start over tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes, you drink again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next thing you know, it becomes about alcoholism rather than speaking the truth. It's kind of like, you know, when a car engine or something goes bad in your car and you don't fix it, and then it start attacking other parts of your car, and then now you have a bigger problem than you would have had if you had just told the truth. Okay. You know? <laughs> so, come on, y'all. Exactly. Which, honestly, is a very good example to um, 
knowing to the next step, which is living in denial. Mm -hmm. um, like you said, the car example was a great example. You know what I mean? Because living in denial, it's kind of like, you know, how to, how to speak, it's a, it's a cancer. Now, cancers, they can be contagious. Mm -hmm. When you're living in denial and a part of you is not even acknowledging where you're at, it starts seeping into the other aspects of your life. Mm -hmm. You don't like your job and you're in denial about you not liking your job. Well, guess what? Now it goes into your social life. You okay. know what I mean? Now you're out there drinking a lot more than you should be. Now it goes into your relationship because mm -hmm. now it's kind of like you're taking all that tension, all that hate or whatever that you don't like about your job. Now it's seeping into your relationship. Yeah. It is kind of like it will affect and attack every other aspect of your life if you're living in that denial. So mm -hmm. that is going to be a good reason to know when it's time to just be enough is enough. Yes, yes. And eventually, I feel like if you continue to live in denial, you start to feel small. And eventually, you might feel like you're not seen or heard, right? Whole yeah. time, it's like, okay, you never spoke your truth. So all of a sudden now, it turns into like, oh my gosh, I feel like nobody understands me. I feel like I'm not heard or people don't see me for who I am. Are you showing who you really are? Oh, uh, yes, exactly. Do, do you, you know? even see yourself for who do you, you are? Do you know? Because if you did know, then you would understand that it's all a reflection, right? Um, it's that saying, as above, so below, as outside, so within, or whatever yeah, so that within, goes. So, without, yeah. so it's like, um, whatever's going on in here, that's the reflection of that in the outside world, mm -hmm. okay? You're not speaking your truth, so now you don't feel seen or heard. Well, when you start feeling like that, that might be a sign like, okay, I think there's something I need to speak up about, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And so, well, okay, so how? How can a person start speaking their truth? You've been living in denial for so long now. Mm. You, every time you try to say something, it's like, uh, 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 you're stuck. <laughs> you can't even know what to say, right? <laughs> well, how do one speak their truth? Well, you first off, you connect with your intuition. Mm. All right, and that connecting with your intuition is funny because the first thing, the first part in speaking your truth is being silent. Honestly. Okay. All right. <laughs> you're about, wait a minute, I've already been silent, but this time it's different because you're actually just sitting with yourself and then you're looking into yourself and be like, okay, well, let me be honest with myself first hmm. because that's how you can be honest with the world. Yeah, that is very true. Yeah. Um, and you know how. You know, to speak your truth well, start by trusting your voice, okay? So, um, you know, a lot of people, for a while, to it, it took me a while to get used to hearing my voice and all those things are irrelevant when it comes, because you sound how you sound, okay? You can't change it, honey. So, I mean, I guess you could make certain voices or whatever, but like your natural voice is gonna wanna come out, and that's the one you wanna keep. Like, just trust your voice. And the voice, not just like the um, the tonality of what you're saying, but that ties in with your intuition as well. Trust it. It's something you need to say, okay? So say it. Okay, period. And so with that being said, you're thinking it has to be vocal. It does not have to be vocal. Um, speaking your truth, knowing how to, can simply be expressing yourself. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think, oh, I have to say something. Journaling well, or writing it, it or yeah, I like, mean, those private self-talks. Exactly, that creativity. What you can express yourself uh, express yourself through your art. Mm -hmm. So put an art out there, you know what I mean? Um, dressing yourself accordingly or whatever the case is. All of that is a way of expressing who you are as a mm. person. Yeah. Um, and get support, y'all. I mean, I know it might be tough. You know, sometimes uh, we start to overthink and um, yeah. blow the truth out of the proportion, like how we were saying earlier. Um, so it might be helpful to get some friends and family members who can really help encourage you to speak up okay it can only do good for you like so get the support you need okay period another way to realizing how is uh checking in with yourself i mean we're back to uh you you've already if you've already already been here you know our videos always asking yourself questions mm -hmm. right right being curious so mm -hmm. it's like checking with yourself start asking yourself why you know like why do i feel this type of way why is this or why is that asking yourself these open-ended questions yeah. you'll be surprised with what the answer that comes back out to you okay so you know you're checking with yourself authentically no room for any type of influences from the media, from your friends, or from your family. It's mm -hmm. all about you. Yeah, um, and let go of the pretension, guys. I mean, you know, enough with the pretentious attitudes and the, 
Um, pretending to be somebody you're not or pretending yeah. to be something you're not only does more damage than good. So let go of the pretension. That way you can um, be more uh, vulnerable. You can be able to take yes. off the cloak or and the mask off and be like, you know what? Mm -hmm. No, like this is who I am. This is what I like to do. And this is what makes me happy or this is what makes me sad, angry and so forth, right? Okay, listen, let's stop the cap. It is <laughs> not honestly. <laughs> and you listen, we live in a, a society in a world where I get it. We have to label everything. And, yeah. I, and labels are great, you know, in a, in a form of sense where it expands your vocabulary and, yeah. and ways to describe things. But sometimes it can hold you back in terms of, my goodness, we have way too many labels nowadays. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You do this and you that. Let go of the labels. Yeah. Okay, like sometimes there aren't no labels for how you're feeling, you know yes. what I mean? Or for who you are. And that it's like part. once you disassociate yourself from these labels, you're able to just show up as you uniquely. Mm -hmm. Like I don't care about any of these, whatever you're talking about. Yes. This is who I am. Whoever's listening, whether it's your boss, whether it's the president, whatever. Like if you take those labels off, they're just people like you. They are people with titles, but it's like that don't have nothing to do with you or how you choose to show up to this world. Okay. So let those labels go. Yes. And that helps you take off the pressure. Like take the pressure off. Like there's no time clock as far as like when, um, you know, like you should speak up. You know what I mean? While there might be a lot of things that might be making you feel a certain way, make sure you check in with yourself first to say like, okay, am I ready? What will make me ready like or what's the best way for me to express it myself because it's not, it doesn't always have to be vocal right yeah. so when you learn something you know about yourself or whatever the circumstance with may be this is your truth okay now sit with it you know and then just like meditate on it mm -hmm. think of you know how it makes you feel how it may make others feel and then decipher all right this is, all right, I'm ready. I'm ready to, to speak, to speak my mind, to speak the truth. Um, and of course, we went over the when to speak your truth as far as like those signals where it might be like, no, it's time. You okay. know what I mean? <laughs> but at the same time to make sure you're ready. All right? Yeah. And we get it. Speaking your truth can be difficult. Yeah. It can be... Um, it can be intimidating if you're not used to it, you know, like, Absolutely. especially with, you know, your throat chakra, your voice, right? If you have not used it at all, you okay. know, especially if you're a narcissist, <laughs> it, <y 'all. laughs> it definitely just takes that away from you. So it is something like with anything, right? It's a skill, it's a muscle mm -hmm. that you have to start practicing and showing up for yourself. Yeah. You know, like if you have to go back into your childhood, you know, because sometimes that is from childhood where you, you, where you repress your truth. That's and the you don't beginning of it all. Yeah. Yeah. So if you have to go back out there and, you know, um, cater to your teenage self, your childhood self, then do so because it is going to help set yourself free where you're at right now to be able to walk authentically. Mm -hmm. There's definitely power in that. Yes, guys. And we want that for you. So, um, you know, just really start speaking your mind, speaking your truth, because the only person who suffers when you don't is you. OK, yeah. um, so I hope we have given you enough information to really kind of give you the courage, guys, to uh, show up for yourself. Okay. All right. Um, if we missed anything, please add it in the comments. You know, we want to hear what you think about it. Yeah, definitely go ahead and like and subscribe if you have not already and hit the bell. You already know. For notification because we do <laughs> drop videos like this every single week. And we love that you're living in your authentic, you know, truth. If yes. that's you. And for those of you who are now starting to live in your truth, right? Drop Welcome. that in the comments. Exactly. Like, how is that <laughs> journey for you? You know, <laughs> like, what got you through it? Your support team. Let us know. We'd love to hear it. Yes. Um, so see you guys next week. All Bye. right. Bye.